All right, so in today's video, we're gonna be doing some camera movement in Blender, pretty easy and straightforward. We're just gonna be adding some object, whether it's a logo or any default from Blender. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and add a couple cameras. We're gonna compose them into different animations, make them you know, move uh, in different angles. And then we're gonna compose them all within Blender, um, just like this, shake it. All right, so here in Blender, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of our defaults. Shift A, we're gonna add a monkey. Um, just so you, it'll be easier for you guys to see different angles. Um, after you have this, you wanna go ahead and add a new collection. This one, we're gonna call it camera. We're also gonna add a, uh, a an actual uh, camera and we're gonna rename it uh, camera number one. So this is gonna be the first camera. Um, on the frames, on the timeline down here, we're gonna end it at 200. We're gonna add a couple frames throughout the uh, timeline. So we're gonna add, we're gonna while hovering on, on the timeline, if you click on M, it'll add a, uh, a marker. So we're gonna do that at uh, frame number one, frame number 50. We're gonna do it at frame number 150. And so I think with three, we're gonna have three different cameras. So one, two, and three to finish, finish it off. So with these three cameras, we're gonna have three different angles like I explained to you guys at the uh, beginning of this video. And so basically what we're, what we're gonna have to do is, we're gonna have to add different cameras. So I already have my first one here. So what we're gonna do is um, somewhere around here, I'm gonna want my first camera to display. So we're gonna go and click Control Alt Zero and it'll add a uh, camera. It'll select your camera and position it right here on your viewport. So once you have this, if you go to frame number one and um, you go ahead and uh, insert a location frame or location and rotation and you move it to frame number 50 and you just move it oh it click zero again and to go to view really quick let's uh, select camera to view so that way we can actually move it like so and uh, maybe move out a bit like that and then I and location rotation again and so we're gonna get something like this right so what we will essentially do is we're gonna lock this camera into my first frame down here. So while having that camera selected, uh, what you wanna do is on frame number one, while hovering on the timeline, control B. And so you can see down here that it has camera number one um, active on your timeline. So if you go to frame number uh, 50 and we go ahead and add another camera, shift A, add a camera, and um, we named this camera number two. We click on this green icon for the camera to have it active, and we control B on your timeline while you're on frame number 50. It'll, it'll, it'll make that camera the active camera on your timeline. So let's say that this camera down here that we have active, we want it to have um, a tap, uh, top view. We go and control Alt zero to move that camera um, above the monkey and we do another animation from 50 to 100, uh, 150. Let's just do that really quick to show you guys what I mean. So I click or click I, uh, location rotation. We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna go to 150. Move this maybe slightly down like this. I click or click I, location rotation. We added another keyframe. So now you'll have something like this. Super very easy, simple and subtle for your animations. And then again, you can add, go ahead and add, a, add another camera really quick. So shift A, camera, make sure you click this green, green icon, double click on it, camera number three, enter to enter that name, control B down here to make it the active camera. So now you have camera one, camera two, and camera three. Um, for this one, maybe we, we wanna do a, um, a very close shot, control Alt zero to parent it to view the viewport and um, I click to add a frame on location and rotation and then head over to frame 200 and you maybe want to zoom out somewhere around here I think would work and um, again I click location rotation to add that keyframe and then we'll have something like this on your timeline and I think this is a very cool so this is gonna be a very cool and subtle animations um, that you could do again for pretty much anything, whether it's a 
a chain, anything, anything you might want to be doing with this, I think it'll be really cool. And then if you add a nice environment, make it, give it some depth of field on the camera, do some nice render um, compositions. I think you'll have a, your, your work will definitely go from zero to a hundred like this. Very super easy and subtle to do. Again, if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to drop a like down below. Comment what you want to see next. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Um, turn on that bell notification button for future content. And I'm out.